Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the audio output on your iPhone or iOS device. So let's just say we're listening to music within Apple Music and we're listening to a song. Uh, the best thing and easiest way of doing this is swiping down and gaining access to the control center or command center. So if you go to the upper right hand corner of your device and just swipe your finger down, you will see the control center. Uh, and in the upper right hand corner, you will see whatever media is playing. So if you see right here, uh, I'm watching a YouTube video. If we tap on, you'll, you should see a speaker icon or a little arrow. If we tap on that speaker icon there, uh, we can see that we can change this over to my AirPods. And now if we go back to the command center, you can see the AirPods icon there. Now, a lot of frustration comes into play when you're in the car. You have it set up as a Bluetooth device in your car uh, and it starts playing through your car, but you want it to play through your AirPods or vice versa. Basically, the easiest way of doing that would be just to turn off the Bluetooth, but that's kind of cumbersome. So what you would just do is tap on the AirPod or speaker icon there. You'll see a list of speakers and TVs that you can play audio from the device as well as any headphones. Like for me, I have my Air uh, AirPods Pro set up right here and I would just click that there. If you want to play it just through the iPhone, like the speakers themselves, uh, you're going to see something here that just says iPhone or phone and then you'll just tap on that so that's really the easiest way of changing the output on your iPhone. Uh, one of the other ways of doing it with older versions of the iOS is to go to settings and then go to where you see sounds and haptics. Uh, and depending on the iOS version that you're running, you'll see something here under sounds and haptics that says outputs. Uh, and you can go to audio outputs and change it and make one default. There's also a setting within accessibility. If we go back to our settings here and then go to accessibility, uh, you should see something under here that says sound recognition or audio output here, and you can change that either by default or per app basis. That's it. That's how you change your audio output on your iPhone or iOS device. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.